So in this video, I'm going to find the resultant force from these two forces, and I'm going to use the parallelogram method. So once again, the first job is to come up with a scale, and I'm going to use one centimeter is 50 newtons, which will make this five centimeters and this seven centimeters, which seems like a reasonable length. So I'm going to draw in my 250 newton one first, so I need to carefully measure out 30 degrees, which is there, and then draw a 5 centimetre line in the 30 degrees, which is going to be to there, and put my arrowhead on it, label that 250 newtons, and then I'm going to do my 350 newton force at 40 degrees and remember because I'm using the parallelogram method I start both vectors from the same place and I need to draw this out as seven centimeters which I think just fits onto my piece of paper <coughs> and label that as 350 newtons so this angle here is 70 degrees and so I know that my other angle here in the parallelogram should be 110, because 70 plus 110 would make up 180. So I can measure out 110 degrees from here and draw in my um, light line and then Similarly, from the end of this one, I can measure out 110 degrees and draw in a light line. And now my resultant force is from the very start to the other end of the parallelogram, which I can draw in carefully like this. And then I need to measure the length for that, which is about one uh, ten point three centimeters. So ten point three centimeters would be multiplied by fifty would give me five hundred and fifteen newtons. And the last thing to do is measure the angle that that is at. So carefully line up my protractor, and the angle seems to be about 11 degrees. So I've got my resultant vector with that angle 11 degrees, 515 newtons.